it, it, it sort of captivated me uh, in, in that you sort of have control of the council meetings. You can pick the agenda as you want. Uh, and, and I'm probably different than most of the people on, I am different than any of the ones on the council. And so I'm fully retired. So I treat this as a full-time job. I work 40 hours a week on it. Three to four days a week I go down to the town hall and I talk to the, uh, the mayor and the town manager. We talk about issues that are going on, um, especially during this pandemic. It's, that's, I was, I, uh, the first couple months I went to BJ's twice and probably averaged about three and a half t times a week to the town hall. That's the only places I went out. And, and my, my lady friend wasn't putting, let me go anywhere else. But it just, it's just one other step that I can do. I mean, I'm the president, I'm on the uh, Talbot County Economic Development, I'm on the Eastern Town uh, Economic Development, I'm on the board of directors of, of the Neighborhood Service Center, I'm on the Eastern Economic Development Committee, I'm on the Talbot Economic Development Committee, I'm on the Small Business Loan for the with this CARES Act, and in fact, that's why I was worried because I didn't know if it was going. We're, we're coming up with, with with what needs to be on the application. Uh, I was asked to be on the uh, Talbot County tax referendum thing, and they voted to to take some a number of our recommendations on that. And I do extensive volunteer work besides that. I've done John, being a close friend, we're different people. It doesn't take you very long. We're very vastly different people. Uh, I admire what he did. Uh, I would want to change, well, I've, I have changed a little bit uh, because I view the council meeting as the council meeting. So I, I changed the format for the meeting. So right after we have a pledge of allegiance and we approve the minutes, then I have each of the council members bring up issues that they want to address. We normally did that at the very end of the meeting. Uh, but things that are important to me that I want to be concentrating on Number one, development of Port Street and then Eastern Point. I think that's gonna be the diamond of the Eastern Shore when we're done. We're very close to being able to uh, go for a, um, annexation for, the, for that. We planning, the, the town's already started. We've, we've started reclaiming stuff on town property. We're, we're, we're gonna be taking the old public works out and, then, and we're gonna be putting, we're putting grass and trees there. We got the, the pedestrian bridge completed, so we're going to, and we're we're completing the bike bike path over to St. Michael's. So this will be a big deal. And in, in, in on the town portion, we're going to have two sets of docks. One of them be for kayaks and canoes. Then we're going to put a a double boat ramp there as opposed to what they've got, and we'll have more parking for it. So, and then and then our, our zoning, we've 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 come up with, with some zoning requirements. They'll keep putting a bunch of junk there. You know, we're not gonna have a bunch of wah-wahs and stuff like that. We're gonna have businesses, we're gonna have small businesses, we have businesses that have residents on top of them. There's limits on height as you go up. We've got that going on. And the other really big thing is the, uh, the property we received years ago when the horse trading was done on the uh, airport. We have that Mistletoe Hall farm. 86 acres of industrial property. We worked with the county. The county has put a road connecting it that will handle the big trucks. June the 15th, we're putting the shovels in the ground. We'll have it finished by September 30. And we'll, ha we'll have the infrastructure done for that. And we have a number of big companies that are talking to us about potential of moving there. So we're, we're doing planned commercial development, that stuff that will enhance the community and not detract from it. And, uh, and these are things that I'm really interested in. I want to see really happen. Um.